So, um, since you're going to have Kriya today, um, <coughs> I'm going to give you the Guru Mantra right now in the morning, because there won't be time. Some people want to go off in the morning session, after the morning session, and so on. So, since we won't have time, I'll give you the Guru Mantra now, so that when you chant it and then meditate. Okay? Guru Mantra is already available on uh, YouTube. Right? But it's not the same when you take it from me. Good to chant from the YouTube, but it's good to take from iTube. <laughs> so, so <laughs> So that's how mantras are usually given, right? So I'm going to tell you quickly how to do it. It can be done at any time. But before you start Kriya, you must do the Guru Mantra. The link is with Sri Guru Babaji. So you start with that and then continue with your meditation. Even when you're not doing your Kriya, you can still chant the Guru Mantra anywhere, anytime, meditate while traveling, anytime. <clears throat> and ladies, before you ask, all times you can chant. <laughs> now the Guru Mantra, <clears throat> as taught to me, you learn from me. <clears throat> you need to visualize, don't do anything now. You need, just listen. You need to visualize a white lotus in your heart center. Heart center is anahat, center of the chest, anahat, not this heart here, which is beating. The yogic heart center is anahat. So visualize inside the anahat, a beautiful white lotus. Hmm? White is preferable, white lotus, blooming like this, not down. And on the lotus, fix a pair of padukas. You know what are padukas? The yogi's footwear. Slippers. Shoes. <laughs> fix a pair of padukas or feet, if you like, the symbol of the feet. On the lotus, in such a way that the toes are towards you and the heel is outside. This way, not this way. As if somebody is walking towards you, not away from you. Right? So, <clears throat> you can visualize the Padukas in any form you like. Silver, wood, leather, <clears throat> Hawaiian rubber, whatever you want. But footwear or padukas, as if there are two pair of feet on the lotus. And then, don't do anything now. Then bend your head downwards with deep respect and devotion. Consider them to be the padukas of Sri Guru Babaji. Also, all the great teachers who have been since the beginning of time, include from starting with Vyasa and Krishna and down. You know that Krishna also becomes a teacher in the Gita, Jagat Guru. Hmm? So, Shiva. So, consider the Padukas to be the Padukas of all the great beings and teachers who have been with us till now. Apart from that, remember that we are doing the Kriya given by Babaji. So, primarily Babaji's Padukas, Sri Guru Babaji. Having done that, bending your head, Touch the Padukas with your hand. I mean, pretend to touch with your finger. Sankalpa. And then head down, with great devotion and asking for help to move forward in this journey. Chant this mantra. Now you chant with me so you don't forget. Om. Om. Hreem. Shri. Shri. Gurubhyo. Gurubhyo. Namaha. Om Hreem Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha. No Shreem, okay? Om Hreem Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha. Silently. 
in your mind mental shanti do that every day for before you start the kriya minimum for 5 minutes and then start the rest of the kriya got it don't ask questions we have no time so shall we start yes so close your eyes bend your bow your head down visualize the white lotus put the padukas on the lotus touch the padukas and with deep earning for spiritual fulfillment not only kriya but generally chant the mantra now you close your eyes bend down touch the lotus the padukas with your hands up yes and then chant once i'm going to chant then you continue silently om hrim shri gurubhyo namaha continue
Okay, now you can just meditate for a while. Guru Mantra is over. You can chant if you like, otherwise just meditate quietly. No need of lotus, nothing. So this is how it goes. Five minutes, Guru Mantra, and then the rest of the Kriya. Since you haven't taken the rest, now you meditate for some time. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
प्रियोम दत्त ओम शांति शांति शांति